Dr. Gowda, you've kind of begun to address Victoria's question about the choices that we have. This minimal bioeconomic program really caught my attention, that it is, uh, it seems to me, in tune with some of the more progressive thinking that we're hearing about in the political world. And it would change, if, if, if it would bring out, a, it, as you begin to implement these changes, you'd be bring, to bring out a different side of human nature. You, you, people relax more, there's more security. There's also more sense of a community and connectedness. We have a big problem with social isolation now in our, in our society. But the other, the other, to me, uh, interface between um, the economic forces that drive human behavior and the emotional forces that drive human behavior. And Dr. Bowen talked about how individual autonomy declines as people become more anxious and group pressure increases. So when I read your uh, idea of ultra sociality being a, a super organism that subjugates the individual to the service of the larger organism, that really resonated with me because I, you know, I'd already been thinking that way, and then you put the economic foundation underneath it, and I was very impressed by that. Mm -hmm. oh, should I? Okay, I'll respond to that. Yeah, I think uh, for me, the, sort of the answer is that, again, going back to hunter-gatherers, you can see I'm obsessed with uh, hunter-gatherers, but I wrote a paper for the Cambridge Encyclopedia of Hunter-Gatherers about 20 years ago. I sort of, what are the implications, the economic implications of this? One implication uh, in hunter-gatherer societies, there's a separation between production and distribution. You know, for example, uh, among the, the, the Bushmen in South uh, Southern Africa, uh, if a hunter kills an animal, uh, he doesn't get to share the meat. It's the owner of the arrow that gets to, ter to determine who gets what. And one thing that happened with production for surplus is that people came to be valued according to what they produce. Again, grains of family or village could be easily measured what they're producing and so on, who was doing what. Uh, and again, neoliberal philosophy, Milton Friedman comes out and says this, and Hayek, and uh, Dinesh D'Souza and others, your value as a human being is what you produce, the, the amount of gross national product that you produce. So I think we need to break that. And again, uh, starting with providing a universal income no matter what you do, for, that would begin to break that relationship, and it might open the door for, uh, uh, for a new, new way of living. Another thing that you mentioned that's really fascinating is this relationship between social complexity, increasing social complexity and individual simplicity. And th this also happens in ant colonies. I'm also obsessed with ants. Uh, the, mo the more complex the ant societies, the simpler is the behavior of individual ants within that society. Uh, so as human beings, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, we were not really uh, confronted with the kind of life or death situations that we probably were as hunter-gatherers. An interesting aside to that is the, the shrinking of the human brain. Human brains have shrunk by 10 to 15 percent since agriculture. Not many people know that. If you just Google uh, shrinking human brain, you can find, I mean, this is kind of, a, this is scientific fact. I'm not making this up. The same thing happened with ants. Compared to ants that still live as hunter-gatherers, their brains are 10% larger than ants that became agriculturalists. So it's, it's sort of like, you know, computer, you know, computer program making a decision. You want the individual decisions to be very simple, sort of a zero, one thing. Uh, it's, it's easier to use that information from zillions of individuals than it is just, you know, asking detail, well, why did you do that, why did you do this other thing? So this, uh, how individuality passes from the individual to the social entities, a fascinating question that's just now beginning to be looked at. Mm -hmm. 